So let's have a look at dichotomous keys. This is a syllabus objective, is to be able to use dichotomous keys to identify and classify organisms. So importantly, you don't need to be able to create a dichotomous key, you just need to be able to use one. So what is a dichotomous key? Well, it's a tool that we can use to um, identify organisms. And so the word dichotomous, di meaning two, and or dichot means two, and, uh, and this tom means to cut. So it's like basically cutting into two. So it's a series of paired statements that we can work through step by step to identify an organism. So we can use it, this is a, um, a diagrammatic type key, which is basically, um, you know, a series of steps like a flow chart. Um, you know, we often use that in like the, uh, in primary school, but really more on senior and out in the field, we tend to use more of a text-based one. But as you can see, each one of them is a series of paired statements. It has fur, it doesn't have fur. And it's kind of like a choose your own adventure in terms of, if it doesn't have fur, then you go to number two etc. Um, you know, it, it can change its location on its own. So in other words, it can move. Then we have to go to number four, okay? Um, and ultimately, you follow it through until you come up with your specific organism. So when do we actually use dichotomous keys? It's a really nice way to organize uh, thinking um, to you know, about different organisms. You know, what are the similarities and what are the differences between them? So it encourages logical thinking. Uh, certainly out in the field, it encourages observation. Then you need to be able to work through the key to be able to classify an organism that's unknown. So we might be able to do that, say, for example, at the rocky shore, where there's a whole heap of different organisms, different mollusks and things that have similarities and differences. So we can work through using a key to actually identify those species before we start to count them. So let's have a look at an example of a key. This is one that I've made for um, made up sort of aliens. Let's have a look at this first one here and we're going to follow it through and see if we can classify this. Okay, so the first part of the key is has legs or has no legs? Well, this one has legs, so we're gonna to go to two. Has a tail or no tail? Well, it has a tail. So that is the name of this creature. So that was an easy one. Let's have a look at this next one. This one doesn't have legs. So it has no legs, go to three. Has antennae or has no antennae? Well, this one actually has antennae. So we've got the name of this one. Let's have a look at this last one here. Let's see, has legs, go to two. Has a tail? No, it doesn't have a tail, so go to four. Has arms? Yes, it's got arms, so we're gonna to go to five. Has antennae? No, it doesn't have antennae, so it must be this one, brachial nudo corners. So that's how we do it. We start at the beginning and we ask these questions, yes or no, and follow it through uh, until we get to the end where it tells us the name of our species.